Today is 2nd of July 2020. This is a 10 years old male neuter Maltese. Okay, what's the what's the what's the complaint? You call it a complaint about actually. Okay. On, on top cannot open. Cannot. <laughs> okay, okay, what, okay, first of all, what, what happened first? Okay, so he has like a uh, on and off skin problem. Mm -hmm. Then it's like flaking and inflammatory. Yeah. So mm -hmm. his problem I think he like when I removed the cone right, mm -hmm. he um starts biting. So can be like on the way here also. Go first, I'll take the hit, just not in case you bite. Buddy, it's okay. It's okay, okay, how long this skin problem? Uh, very on and off, so a few days ago. La, he, started, that? he started biting, and it's like very flaky. So we just put the cone on him and we applied neoderm. Mm. 8.4. Yeah. Okay, no, no fever. Oh. Yeah, okay, he's, he's been licking his paws for yeah. how long already? They can see, yeah? It's quite how on and off. Uh. On and off, yeah. So I think he got Tiala, that's why he brought him here. Okay, so this side. Has he been treated before? Uh, yes, he has been treated here. Before. Last July, though. Okay, last July, eh? Mm. That means quite long ago, uh. mm. one year ago. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, these are the scales, huh? Mm -hmm. The scales. And, uh, okay, so we start with the physical examination first. Okay, start. It's body so, a trainee. First of all, the body condition score, you call it, huh? Come, ready. Ready or not? Yeah, ready. ready. So, so the body condition score. The first thing you, you check is the body condition score. Mm -hmm. So you can mm -hmm. feel uh, it's a bit thin here. There you, see. you can feel it's fine. So body condition score is up to 9. Uh. So this fellow will be 3 uh, because it's thin. Mm -hmm. Ideal should be 4, 5. Uh. Overweight will be 6. Uh. So this fellow is thin, so 3.9. Okay, so you write down body condition score. Then temperature taken, the weight is taken. Okay, So now we go on physical examination. Which means you start from the, the face. Uh, so check the mucous membrane. Kanyang uh, A bit reddish. How's the appetite? Good. Normal. Yeah. Then the gums. Uh, this one is pink. You see that? Mm. It's not. Teeth is terrible. Uh -huh. So this owner didn't do any dental. Uh. Yeah. Because it's very biteish. Huh? Adi, good boy. Uh, so open the mouth. Check the tongue. It's okay. Okay, so this part is alright. Come, come this side first, then quickly Good check. Point. Let's have a quick check on the lymph nodes. The right side is swollen. Mm -hmm. Has it been scratching? There yes. Is the right side, any is it? Uh, yeah. Right side is swollen, the lymph nodes. Left also swollen. Mm -hmm. Any coughing? No. Painful, painful. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, it's okay. Painful, okay. You know this doctor, right? I've you before. Picture on the limb, not there's none. Popliteal, inguina, not nothing. Excellently. Okay, his main complaint is actually the skin, right? Yeah. Okay. Drink a lot of water? Uh, this one I'm not too sure. No, no. <laughs> I, I did monitor. Yeah. Heart is okay. Any coughing? No. Uh. No, no coughing. Lungs are alright. Uh. Mm -hmm. It's a bit nervous. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the abdominal palpation. Use the hand like this. Uh. Pop it. Anterior first, then the mid, and then the posterior. Mm -hmm. Anterior in front. Now miss the kidney, uh, liver, and stomach. No pain. Uh. Okay, this one. The mid abdomen. Did you pass motion? Yeah. Did pass. Then the bladder further down. This is a male, right? Yeah, it's a male. So far, no pain. I like, didn't. Although there's a bit of a hunch. Huh? Mm -hmm. Any diarrhea? No. Okay. Then check the inner side. Is it itchy on the back side? Uh, I don't itchy? think he scratched that. Does he bite his tail, is he? Yeah. He bite his tail. Huh? So let me check. Inner okay. Okay, hold on. Let's have a quick one. So normally you just feel whether it's swollen or not, but it's not swollen. Uh. Seems to be okay. Uh. But let's have a check. Yeah, this is... Uh, no, it's alright. Now this one, 
How long already this biting of the tail? Uh, it was before it's grooming, so it's like a few weeks back, uh, three weeks. Three weeks, huh? Okay, okay. now we turn upside down, huh? Ready? One, two, three, turn upside down. Okay. One, two, three, turn upside down. You might bite me. Okay. Bite the better muzzle. Uh, so this is very yeah. itchy here. Yeah, yeah very itchy here. His leg, his leg's area. Uh, this is bad. Mm. Ampi, Ampi is so bad. Okay, yeah. okay. Goodbye, goodbye. Hold, hold Ampi. Okay. Where would he bite you? I thought you were. Uh, he's very aggressive. Yeah. Even towards you? Yeah. So, like, mean this on this side. Uh. Handling him wise. Uh, elbow also. Uh. Goodbye, goodbye, buddy. Elbow also, neck also. So, normally it's a ear problem. No need. Mm. You can tell this fellow definitely is a chronic arthritis external. He's been scratching his. Uh, He's been scratching his neck because of the ear. Mm. Uh, now, this so this is where it starts? Uh, infection, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, now, you see this side, uh, same thing. Uh, so this okay. side is scratching. Mm. And many skin diseases mm. actually is caused by the... Ear infection. Uh, and the owner thought it's the body, but actually it's not. Then he will find that the dog keeps on doing this. Yeah, yeah, he does it. Uh, Even with the side. phone. Uh, mm. There is an ear infection. There's, a, there's a, a nerve reflex. So when you hear the chi, the dog will do this. Mm. So it damaged the whole, whole place. Uh. The skin damaged. And now we see that uh, elbow is affected. See that? Uh? Mm. Now elbow, it could be mites. Uh. Mites the dermatex. Mm. Dermatex usually affect the face. Uh, mm. The paws, the elbows. Yes, but it's, it's not, not always. Uh, huh? oh, okay. Usually. Okay, so now... Definitely we know that one, one major cause is the yeah. ears. Huh? And uh, how long has this been going on? You can see it's pigmented. It's quite long already. How long already? Uh, Few months. Uh, I or, think so. Or years. Uh. Yeah. Many mm, years. I think uh. it's months. But it's an on and off thing. So you apply your own ear drops, right? Uh, yes. Where you buy from? I think it's your clinic. Hmm? Your clinic? Yeah. First when? time seeing them. Too. Yeah, but after that, like, I think no more already. You didn't follow up on them? Yeah, they didn't follow up. So his actually his leg area got like yeah. some crust or so. Mm. So they didn't maintain. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so one thing. Then the second thing is of course the tail area. Now whether this is due to his inner glands, I don't think so, uh, but the tail is itchy. Now the tail is itchy due to various reasons. One of course is fungus or uh, infection, uh, yeast or bacteria. Then we turn upside down, you saw this part is itchy. Uh. Yeah, how come it's hard? Uh? This part is itchy, so he bites. He bites. No, he bites and licks. Uh. Has to meet his. Uh. He's very painful and itchy. Uh. Uh. Uh, these are infections. Mm. Now, the four paws has been there for a long time, right? Yeah. Uh, so, this is also because of this one there. Mm. Then, this one he used to do his neck also. Does he use the front to scratch his neck? Yeah, at first it's a chin area. Mm. Then, okay. he healed up. Uh. Yeah. So, the treatment is. Of course, to find what's the cause. Huh? So we do a fungal test. Mm. The, the, to check for fungus, wait. Where is Sue, cause Sue to come? Mm -hmm. Then, number two, we will shape Buddha. Oh, okay. Type two. Uh, how, how, you, how you solve the problem? Oh. You can't is it okay with just injection? No. Yeah. Then you have to come back again. Mm. Uh, Unless you want to come back again and again. And I think again. We, we just want to treat him la, because he's quite old already. Yeah. All the more you treat him with you. The older the dog the is, the immune system, system is lower. The 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 immune system is lower. So it's better we try and get rid of all the infected hairs. Huh? Yeah, at one time, don't do him. Because he just went for grooming like two weeks ago. Yeah. When, when it's generalized skin disease, huh, there's no point you, you uh, leave the hair there because they are infected at the roots. Uh, which area is infected? Just the all these right? Some are shaped like. No, only this. This part also, the, the whole body. Oh. Except probably the top part only. Uh, you can see there. Mm. There this part also. Huh? Oh. And this part all, all hidden by the hair there. Mm. So that they're shaped. Yeah, you see? Shaped more, more, is it? Yeah. Okay. No, you save all is so that you can apply the wash and you can heal faster. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna spend money. Oh, can, um, can I also ask? Like, you know, for his groin area, it's quite hard. Like why? Uh? Turn upside down first. Huh? Turn upside down. Turn up. Two. Right 
I just check whether it got ringworm or not. Now this fluorescent light will will shine if there's ringworm. Okay. I'm sure. Okay. Okay, let's have a quick one. Goodbye, Goodbye buddy. buddy. Goodbye. It's okay. Goodbye. Okay, quick one. Yeah. They're shining, you see? Mm. Fluorescent is ringworm. Ringworm. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, turn this side. I'm, I'm sure this one is a ringworm. There, this side. You see, yeah? Uh, see the pores. Usually it's mm. ringworm. Ring room with fluorescent huh? is is green on the mm. fluorescent. There is some ring room. There. Not all, all of them but some of them. Huh? So if you don't shave, then you have to wash yourself. Yeah. Mm. Okay with that lah. Yeah. But main important thing is to make him feel comfortable, like um not so itchy now. Okay, get ready. Come yeah. do the. Okay. Uh, you do the rip. 